Hi friends, how are you all doing? I hope each and every one of you are in best of your health. Welcome to our channel, Plants, Crochet, Cooking and more. Well, today we'll be doing some beautiful daffodils and we'll be using them for making a cushion cup. So, let us get started. We are starting straight away and the hook size is 12 and the yarn which we are using is yellow color. Now we start off by making 4 chains. Then we insert the hook into the first chain and form a small circle. After forming the circle, a slip stitch is made. Then we make a single crochet which will not be counted, which will be followed by 16 number of half double crochet all around the circle. I would request you to kindly look into the stitches that I will be using properly so as to understand the pattern. We have almost reached halfway. Now let us complete the rest. Now we have reached the end, now we are going to slip stitch but in the back loop that is very important and complete the circle. Once done, we will make one chain which will not be counted and then make one double crochet in the same spot. Now in the chain next to it again we will take the back loop and form another double crochet. After that is done we will go to the next chain space and again repeat the process. Once we get our three double crochets one after the other we are going to make two number of double crochet in the same chain space taking the back loop into consideration. Again the process is repeated that is one double crochet each in each of the chain spaces taking the back loop and after that we make two number of double crochet in one chain space taking the back loop till we reach the end of the circle. Now we are attaching the two ends of the circle with the help of a slip stitch but here we are not going to take the outer loop 
will take both the loops into consideration. Once the ends are joined, we make a chain in the same spot, followed by a single crochet in the same spot and a single crochet in the next chain space. Then we make a chain of 3 and then see I am doing it, we are coming back to the base of the chain and will form a small bubble. Now again a single crochet in the next chain space and another single crochet in the next chain space and then we make a chain of 3 and bring the hook back to the base of the chain and form the small bubble again. This process is to be repeated all around the circle. That is what we are doing. That means let me repeat it. the steps that we are following in this particular row is that we make one single crochet in one chain and another single crochet in the next chain and when we make a single crochet in the second chain we make a chain of three and come back again with a hook to the base of the chain and form the small bubble the process is to be repeated all around the circle you will get pretty little bubbles in your work we reach the end of the row we slip stitch into the first single crochet we had done in the beginning of the row Now we will start the next row but while starting the next row we must keep in mind to keep the bubbles of the work facing towards you so that we don't get our petals wrong. Actually we are starting the petals of the daffodil now. Now we straight away start off with two number of chains. After making two number of chains we will be working in the same space and make one double crochet. After making one double crochet, again working in the same space, we are going to make one triple crochet. Now the second triple crochet is being made in the same space. Then we make three chains, that is to make the small bubble and return back to the base of the chain, three chain and form the bubble. Then we do another triple crochet in the same space and one double crochet again in the same chain space and complete this petal by one half double crochet. the petal is done we make one single crochet in the next space chain space or loop whatever you want to call you can call it now we jump to the next chain space and start off again with one half double crochet then one double crochet after one double crochet is done, we make two triple crochet in the same chain space. Once that is done, we make a chain of three. That is for making the small bubble and return back to the base of the chain and carefully make the small bubble. 
Then we again make one number of triple crochet in the same chain space. Then a double crochet. Ending the petal with one half double crochet. Then we jump into the next loop and form one single crochet. The process is to be repeated all around and the number of petals that you'll get at the end is 8. I'm sure if you watch the video carefully you'll be able to do the petals easily. not as complicated as it looks just that you have to be a little careful Now see, gradually all our petals are coming into shape and we have almost reached the end of this particular row. Now to complete the row, we slip stitch into our first half double crochet and we snip off the yarn now i'll be introducing another color to this particular pattern and i've taken a green color now this step when we start we'll just start in the uh, in the chain gaps which are present in between the petals if you pull the petals from both the ends properly you'll be able to see the chain and do a slip stitch after that we'll make one single crochet in the same space and then three number of chains the chains have to be a bit loose in tension then we'll jump into the next chain gap in between the petals and form a single crochet then again three number of chains loose chains and then jump into the next completing the row
for joining the two ends of this particular row we make a slip stitch into the first single crochet Now we'll fix our petals and bring it into shape and push the green color chain behind the petals. Once that is done, we'll start straight away with our work. We'll slip stitch into the next chain space and form a single crochet. After that, we'll make three number of chains. jump into the next chain space and form a double crochet but we will not complete the double crochet completely we will do it halfway now three double crochets are to be made in the same place and when the third double crochet is done we finally pull the hook through it and we get a small leaf like structure then we make three number of chains and make a triple crochet in the same space here also the triple crochet is not to be completed it is to be done halfway now again another triple crochet in the same manner Then another before the hook is pulled through all the stitches together. Here we are getting a petal which is little bigger in size. And again three chains and the same process is repeated. That means we start off again with a three number of incomplete double crochet and then pull all the stitches through it together till we get a small petal please ignore the dogs barking in our locality now the work which we completed just now actually it is for making the corner of the work then we make three number of chain and jump and make a single crochet in the next chain space then three number of chains again and the same process will be repeated that means we will make three number of petals in the same process we had done earlier the other corner is also ready if we look at the back side of the work we will see the uh, corners being produced prominently
then this particular row will slip stitch into the first single crochet that we had done in this particular row and so this completes our corners Introducing a new yarn. This is an off-white color and we'll start straight away on the tip of the triple crochet three triple crochets that we had made actually a chain space is there there you need to start So we make a slip stitch Then we'll make two number of double crochet in the same space chains and then again make two double crochet in the same chain space once that is done we make three number of double crochet in the next gap is available same process is to be repeated by making three double crochet in all the chain loops We have reached the leaf formed by making three triple crochet there in the chain space we are again going to make two number of double crochet then we make two number of chains and again two number of double crochet in the same chain space once that is done, we again start making three double crochet in the chain loops till we reach the other corner. The same process is to be repeated all around the pattern. Once the end is reached, it is just joined with the help of a slip stitch. Now, with the help of a slip stitch, we jump into the next chain space and again to the next to reach to the corner of our work. When we reach the corner, we will make one chain which will not be counted and then straight away work two double crochet followed by a chain of two and again two double crochet once that is done now all around the pattern we just need to make one double crochet in each of the chain spaces available excepting the corners 
also we just need to be careful and keep walking all around the row is completed by joining the two ends with the help of a slip stitch and see our pattern is ready beautiful i hope you liked it now i'll be making another granny square which is a simple one so that it can be coordinated with the daffodil pattern in the cushion cover. So I'm starting here straight away with a magic ring and a chain of three and I'll be making three double crochet. So in this particular cluster I'm having three double crochet and one chain that means four number of double crochet. Now three and again four number of double crochet this process is to be repeated till we have four number of clusters all around the magic ring We have completed with the clusters and then a uh, three chain is made and then we slip stitch into the first uh, double crochet or the first chain that was formed in the very beginning. Now we pull the tail of our work to make the magic ring look neat. Straight away I'm going into the second row. It is a very very easy pattern if you follow it you'll be able to do it easily you see four number of chains are made then we jump into the chain gap and make two number of chains two number of double crochet sorry then three chains are made and again we'll jump into the corner and make Two double crochet then we'll start working in the chains four number of chains are there you have to be careful so that we don't skip off the starting chain granny square it has to be worked until we reach five rows
two rows have been completed similarly more three number of rows is to be done till we have five number of rows in our pattern See here three rows have been completed, more two rows need to be done before the granny square is complete. I would like to tell you for making a cushion cover of 12 inches size I have made 16 number of simple granny square that is I'll be using in the back of the cushion cover now I'm stitching them with the right side of the pattern facing each other I'll place them and then start stitching Friends, I would like to tell you that I have made 8 number of daffodil patterns and using the tapestry needle in the same manner all the 16 pieces are to be joined. Do try making this beautiful cushion cover and I am sure you are going to love it. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making this beautiful cushion cover. I would like to request you to kindly share, subscribe and comment and do hit the like button if you have found the video interesting. And if you are new to our channel, do consider subscribing. We will come up with more and more of interesting videos in future. So till then, be happy and bye.